Hi, my name's Adam Johnston. I'm with the Center for Science and Math Education at Weber State University, and I want to show you one of my favorite investigations, the hot chocolate effect. You've probably made hot chocolate before. You need some hot chocolate mix, some hot water that I brought with me, and a mug and a spoon. There's a few trains of thought about how to make your hot chocolate, adding water versus hot chocolate first. I'm a hot chocolate first kind of guy, and I wanna make sure I've got plenty of it. So a couple of generous scoops. And then I add my water. And then I stir my hot chocolate. This is the part that you've probably done a thousand times before and haven't noticed this particular effect. I'm stirring, and then I'll tap the bottom of the mug. And as I continue to tap, you can hear the pitch getting higher and higher. What's more, if I stir again, the pitch goes back down. And keeps crawling back up. Now that you have this in front of you, the question would be, What's going on? What else could I change to make this effect go away or be more enhanced? And then how would I figure out what's actually going on here? This is what science is all about. So for the rest of your life, here's something you can do. Mm -hmm.